Boxing's my identity. Since I've been 12 years old, boxing's been me. I want to unify, I want to win all the belts. When asked, what, what would you like to fight for? Who would you like to fight? I said, of course, I'm with the Gallup fight. I will win by, by all means necessary. This is an area called Holy Cross where I grew up and this was our football pitch. There was um, on there, there was a goal painted on the, on the fence and that goal there. So we play after about six o'clock when all the cars go, but if there was still a car there, we'd just play around the car and it'd be full of holes the next day. <laughs> full of gents. They was out of the goal there. Yeah, it's a small community really. Everyone knows each other. Everyone knows each other's mum, you know what I mean? It, it, it was, there was no crime between us, we all looked out for each other because there was consequences, weren't there? Because they'd be shame if you'd done something bad to somebody next door and everyone would know. It's one of them small areas. It, it was a nice area to grow up in because everyone, everyone looked out for each other. And then you can see there, it's just right in the city centre. It's the closest council estate. Probably it is the closest council estate outside the, the city centre. So we were lucky, really. We were right in the city centre. But we also had our own community. The gym now was the was the youth centre, where we go and do community projects. Christine Barton, who used to run the club, used to take us out. Used to take some of the kids to places that he wouldn't normally go, not like the fair or to Blackpool or out, out, out in trips and stuff like that. It's important, I think, to community, to have people like that. We were lucky, we had that, we had that hub. We kept us out of, off the streets and out of crime. We all put our energy into football. There was, there was nine lads in my class, so we all we had a good football team, didn't we? And, um, the bottom. It's still going now. I still play some Sundays. Terry Matthews Boxing Club. It's not just a, a boxing gym where you go in, it's a bag, it's a community. The kids go, that's where they meet all their friends. They stay out of trouble. He has community, runs community projects in there with people who are like um, disabled and stuff like that. Somewhere for these people to go. We ran it all through COVID. Um, they got exemption from the government, so it's, you could say it's saving lives, you know what I mean? He's working with people who are recovering from addiction because it's a boxing gym, it's just, it's a hub of a community, it's, it's special really, it, it, it's hard to get that, you know. You only get too many losses in professional boxing, I know what it's like on the back of a loss, no one wants to know, no one cares about three of them, so, I know I can't, I can't, I can't afford, can't afford another one, you know, so I have to win, and it's something that I've always dreamed of, since I've been a little boy, that was my way out. That was my visualisation as a child. Even before I would practice visualisation, that was my visualisation, that was everything to me. And to have a world title, yeah, I'm here now, and I need to take it with both hands. To become a world champion, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it's not scary no more. I've, I only say the hard way, I've been through, I've been up and down, up and down, up and down, but every time I get a bit, bit higher, and now I'm ready to accept it, it's not like, I don't, I don't idolise that position anymore. I don't see what would it be like to be up there. I, I see myself here now. I thank God for putting me in this position and, and that I can inspire the next generation coming through because there's a lot of kids who've been through what I've been, who are going through what I've been through. They're actually in that moment right now. So I'd like to dedicate this win to them and let them know that anything's possible. Just keep believing, keep, just one more day, you can do it. You know what I mean? You can get yourself out of it and it's for all of us. A lot of fighters, they can, they can get carried away and they can run away with their ego and they can convince people that they're, they're this mysterious man who's got all this talent and he's got all this money. It's, it's all nonsense, you know. I'm Jazza, just like you, and if I can do it, you can do it. Going into it, I knew it, but outside it sounding too arrogant or cocky, I knew I would win it and I also knew I had to win it. And there's a moment when you're, you're on a bit of a downer and you know I have to win tonight. And this is one of the fights as well, I have to win. Where do you go if you lose? It's one of them. You can't even think about it. So I've seen the achievements I have achieved so far. And when it's only a piece of leather and metal, but when you put that on a kid and, and we're all in together and he's watched that fight on a Saturday night with his mother and dad and you're in a school on, on the Monday morning and you're saying, if I can do it, you can do it. It just, it just does something to somebody, you know what I mean? It does something to the old communities and yeah, it gives us, as I say, it gives us hope. That's what it is, hope, you know what I mean? It's powerful, it's so powerful. And I wouldn't be in this position, definitely wouldn't be in this position if it weren't for the Scousers around me. Not just Scousers, you know, English people, Irish people, even the people in America who helped me, and just a lot of other laws. People in general, but I believe we are all one. 
I do remember at the time it was tough losing. It was so tough. It was um, it was tough on my ego. That's what it was. It was um, it was humbling. It was a humbling experience. It was a tough time for me personally to um, to face Liverpool, my people, with that shame of losing. It's, it's hard. It was either swear it or carry on and win a world title and get me revenge. And that's where I'm at now. It's like when Liverpool played Everton back in 2013 and they're going to play them this year. Just different teams, aren't they? And I, I've, I believe that I've had a, a tougher road since then. Even the losses, even the losses, I think I've um, learned more from the losses. I've had a lot of experience. I've got a great team around me now. I've got a different team around me now. I've got, I've got everything I need. I'm so blessed and I'm lucky. And, yeah, I believe I know I'm the better fighter now. Barry's quite a humble guy, deep down. I know he was trying to be Prince Nazim a few years ago, but he's he showed the humble side since he's had a loss. And uh, Barry's, Barry's a nice guy deep down, I know he is. Um, and he's not stupid, he knows that he shouldn't judge this fight by, by the last one. And likewise, I'm sure he's a lot better than he was then. He's, he has to be, he's fought for the world title since. It's his first loss. Now he realises he's not, he's not invincible and he's had a warm up win, that's it, you know what I mean, he's, he's inactive. I wouldn't like to be in this position, fighting me. Yeah, I won't get in his head. If he wants to let me in his head, I'll happily go in there, but no, he's not getting in my head either. Tony Bellew's been a massive part of my career since he started out with me too. MTK Global. I've just got a great team around me. My family too, you know, you learn through losses, not just in boxing, but you learn in life too. I've got three kids. I've got great support at home, I've got great parents, I've got great friends, great friendships, great sponsors, you know, my sponsors who have got me to this point. There's too many things to, to put into it. All I can say is, once again, is that I'm lucky. And boxing takes a lot of luck as well. You can say it's all down to my hard work, all down to my dedication. You can take, you can take the reins when you're doing well, can't you? But the truth is, you got to get some luck as well. It was absolutely brilliant last year. I wished I could have been there. I watched Cheeseman, Egerton. I watched Tasha Jones versus Terry Harper, Andy Fowler. Probably I have left a good few out there, but I watched so many good fights there. And I was thinking, what would that be like for a crowd? And now, headlining in front of a crowd in the same position, I have to, you know, pinch myself because, yeah, my team were doing it. Doing it the right way and, and they are head and shoulders above anyone else in the game. I haven't just got a dream to be a world champion. You splash in the pan and then go away. They're, they're not my dreams, you know what I mean? But I do know the first step on that journey is to hold the world title. I come up short a few years ago fighting every Gondo, but I took my chance. Maybe I was too young, but I took my chance and I would take it again. Uh, I'd take it seven days a week, you know, because that, that's my, my true ambition to be champion of the world. But yeah, do I have goals other than that? Yeah, a lot bigger. Anything I have to do to win, I will do it. I have to find a way. I have to be myself first and foremost, and I have to find a way to win. If fighters are going there with plan A, plan B, plan C, don't do but I fight to fight in my mind. I don't study fighters. I don't go over it too much. Like you say, I go to bed though with, with these moves, repetitive repetition of moves, what I will implement on the night, but I don't study too much of fighters. I go in there with, with the mindset of it's a fight and I've trained, I've given everything and I will win by, by all means necessary. You can see what a fighter can do. You can, watch your, you can watch footage and see he cannot move his feet going backwards. He can't move his feet going left. He can't, you know, he's always got this on low or blah, blah, blah. You can see, I can capitalise on that, but what you can't see is um, the strength of a man. You can't see the speed of a man. You can't see the timer of a man. These are all things that unravel once you're in there. It unfolds in front of you, and you have to be able to adapt there and then. And adaptability is one of the best things that a fighter can have, in my opinion. So that, that's what, it's a fight, a fight to fight, you know what I mean? And, yeah, I'll go into it with, with um, ideas, but I will come out of it with realizations, you know? Can we push you for a prediction? You know, I won't ask you to pick an exact round, but how do you want to win this fight? I'm okay, I'll, I hope. Revenge. I want to uh, live it there. Revenge. This is my auntie's house just here. Growing up, that was my granddad's house there. Um, and this is my dad's house here. And this was the school here. Yeah? This was the school and this is my house. 
So it was like, it was always late. This is Bayern State here. Yeah. This is the team we played for, the Bayern State. The football team. We live for football. Um, so yeah, they are good friends, good group of friends, um, a kind, a kind community. I'm running a community project with, with a charity called Maverick Sports, and we're, me and my dad, growing up in, in addiction, growing up seeing addiction through my parents, me and my dad are now, my dad's clean off his substance abuse, and me and him are both going to run a project for, for children and parents, of course, and um, it's about bringing bringing them back together. So it'll be an eight week project of bridging the, bridging the gap between like love and resentment. So that's the plan. Yeah, that's what he lines up for after this fight. I'm gonna put it on the back burner now because he has to focus on this fight because this is the main thing for me. But that, I'm looking forward to starting that. That was something I always said I was gonna do when I was a child before he had the means to do it. I always thought I'd be, be better to do it if I get a bit of status because I don't know, it's, it's sad, but people do listen a little bit more, don't they? If you're some sort of public figure or what, I don't know. It just seems to be the way it is. So, I'm now in a position to be able to do that. I'm looking forward to it. The people who, who've always known, not unchanged, but people who, haven't, who I have never known, I, I see that they treat me differently. I don't like it. I don't like it, to be honest. It is. I, 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 I treat you differently, you treat you because Yeah, it is. Because coming from the son of Bedouin addicts, I was treated completely the opposite way when I was young, you know what I mean? So now I'm getting treated even. Not, I'd rather balance in the middle, the people we've always known, but being treated from this way, if you're not doing well and treated like this, we're doing well. It is, really, I don't know. If that makes sense, I don't know.